What's going on guys, it's Howell from Howell Evans Fitness and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you through the fundamentals of building muscle. It's quite simple when you think about it, but it is something myself and so many people miss when they first start out. I actually recorded myself in the gym today and I'm actually really glad I did because there's something which I want to correct, which is a form of progressive overload, which I'm going to talk about. And I'll run you through basically how I tackle progressive overload weekly and how I make my lifts go up in pretty much all of my compounds progressively over time. If you want to get stronger, you have to keep adding weight to the bar. That's just common sense. But there are ways to go about doing it correctly and safely. So I'm going to run the footage now and then I'm going to talk over the footage in the background and just show you what basically I do and how I'm going to implement it into my next few weeks. So today I'm doing bench press, which is a massive compound lift which I've been working on. And if anyone's watched my videos uh, from the past few weeks, I was actually bench pressing, I think, 80k for reps, which is great for me. I'm, that was a lot more than I was benching when I was actually completely shredded down. But now I've actually got 85 on the bar and last week I hit that for 668. So with that in mind, I went into this workout aiming for a 777 rep scheme, basically for my three sets on bench, which is a completely what I hit. That's what I got on the bench today. But this is what I wanted to talk about. And this is why I actually started YouTube and recording myself in general. I aim to set this up exactly straight, facing the bench, like I, I lined it up with the camera perfectly so I could watch my form. Form is a massive key when implementing progressive overload. So for this set, you're going to see myself setting up like I am now. I can place in my feet and everything. The first rep, I take it nice and slow, control the weight. Second rep goes fine. Here on my third rep and the fourth, there you go. You can see my right side, but left for you guys, is actually going up towards the end of the movement slightly faster you can see the bar tilting now this is something i'm not sure about um i'm clearly happy with the set but this is definitely something i need to work on in the future and this hasn't been happening before on my when i was lifting 80k I know this because I recorded the sets and all of them were perfect and that's why I moved up to the 85 mark. But this is something that I need to correct now. And even though I increased my weights this week, so I, like I said last week I hit 668, this week I actually hit 66, no 778 which is what you've just seen. The week after that I would normally aim for 888 and then if I hit 888 with perfect form and everything... Then I move forward and up the weight again. So maybe I'd move on to 87.5 and possibly test 90 out for the last set. Next week now, I won't move on. I'm going to try and aim for these sets again. I'm going to aim for 777 or 778 because that's what I hit this week. And I'm going to make sure every single set, I'm not going to show you guys because it'll be kind of boring for you, but it's lined up completely perfectly, completely straight. I'm going to try and use a different bar because maybe that was my issue this week. I'm going to use different weights and stuff. And we're going to wash every single set. And if that bar isn't straight, I'm not moving up in weight. Like, I don't want to damage myself with heavier weights. And that is a form of progressive overload, which is why I'm so happy that I actually recorded that clip from that angle, because I can show you that as well. So it's not always about adding weight, guys. Perfecting your form is so key, and it will benefit you so much more when the weights get heavier. Three sets of eight for 100k. That's my goal by the end of this bulk, which I am pretty much on track for. I think I can do that. But I'm not rushing anything, and like I said, form is like a massive key for me. I know this has sort of gone from a video where I was talking about progressive overload and how to build muscle towards kind of a video talking about form and stuff. Either way, it's definitely informative for you guys, and you need to know stuff like this, especially if you're trying to get into the gym now don't pick up bad habits don't pick up bad form and make sure that if you start off right you will end right like lex griffin always says implement progressive overload into all of your compound lifts and even your accessory lifts if you want to and that is how you will build muscle you will get stronger every single week i promise you as long as your diet is on point which is obviously a massive factor if your diet's there you will get stronger and you will start building muscle a lot faster if you track your stuff actually i want to show you something here is a logbook. You don't have to buy a logbook, and I'm not affiliated with this company by any way. I don't even know who it is. I got this off Amazon, but just any notebook. Look at this, guys. Every single workout is tracked. Push day, chest, barbell flat bench. This is actually really cool to see, but this was on the 17th of September, okay? The 17th of September for barbell flat bench is what you guys just saw. 667 which is what I managed to get rep-wise in the three sets, 75K. How long has it been? It's been nine, three months, and I've added 
10 kilograms to my bench already. Just by implementing this structure, this progressive overload, every single workout I do is logged in this book. I track all of my weights, and that's, that's the key. That is literally the secret to building muscle. That's all there is to it. I hope this has helped you in some sort of way and it's sort of swayed you away from all the bro science and bullshit that you actually see on the internet. Um, how to gain muscle fast by implementing my program. This will cost you £3,000 a year. Right, rant over. It's definitely an informative video for you guys today. So if you like that kind of stuff, leave a comment below. Of course, subscribe if you're new. This will probably reach a lot of new people because I haven't done this type of video before. If you want to help me out, like the video and share it and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video because if you don't know already, I'm uploading every single day up until Christmas. So I'll see you in tomorrow's video and...